Um, when I moved up here in 1998, uh, I have a, a bit of a confession. I thought, what a bunch of rednecks. Um, and I, I'm being honest. And you drive by houses and, and you see old cars or washing machines out behind the garage and stuff like that. And coming from Grand Rapids, I, I, I thought, pretty tasteless. Well, then I've been living up here for a while. And I found out that my neighbors, that's a hardware store. And, and I don't say that lightly. Um, I live out Bear Lake Road. And my neighbor, he's got a couple of tractors and a trailer and stuff like that. I don't know the guy for beans, really. But I'll see him out there, and he's pulling some parts off of that equipment. And from time to time, he'll, and he'll use that to fix other equipment. I have no problem with that kind of thing. And I guess my point in wanting to come tonight was to share the fact that coming from Grand Rapids, I, I sometimes put little snippets together, and, and I, I called this baby steps to bureaucracy. Um, it, it, it's, it's that slippery slope thing, and I appreciate you people's work, but there's a point at which I would like to see you say, go back to the board and say, these people don't want this. Mm -hmm. and, and all your work would be for naught. I, I don't mean to waste your time, you know, that way. But one of the things I've grown to appreciate up here is, is the fact that there is a bit of independence. I, uh, I was sighting in my rifles for deer season. The neighbor called me. It was Sunday afternoon. I woke his kids up. They were taking a nap. I appreciated that. He called me. He didn't call the sheriff. He didn't call the police. Yes. He called me. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and I like to think I'm a good enough neighbor to say, I don't have to shoot right now. And then there's been other times when his kids were running down the road with their motorcycles with no muffler, and I called him. And we, we handled it. And I'll take that. More neighbors like that can move in any day of the week that they want to out there. And so when there's a land use and, and, there, and language being what it is and, and stuff, frankly, I'm a school teacher. I wouldn't mind having more students. Um, that's my job, so job security. But if people want to move up here for some of that kind of independence, if they got bad garbage laying around and it's attracting vermin and rodents, by all means, call the authorities, say, hey, we have a health issue. Um, but when it comes to zoning, and I know it's not zoning, but is this one of the steps towards that? I, I get very concerned with that kind of a mindset. And if this is the ground level, I want to make sure my voice is heard at that ground level to say, we need to be really careful. Because, yeah, there are things that, that we all enjoy. None of us wants to live in a trashy area. But one man's trash is another man's treasure. And, and we really have to be sensitive to that kind of stuff. 